I'm here at the Ingham County Counseling Center where there's a crisis for local teens. The impacts of COVID-19 has drastically impacted the mental health of youth in Mason. And the most recent data shows that calls involving suicide and self-harm have doubled since 2019. Suicide is preventable. Right here in the rural neighborhood of Mason, the calls and concerns are growing. High school is getting a lot of officer calls. There were 35, I believe, for harm. Um, our middle school had 11. Um, and so these numbers continue to rise um, where young people are trying to communicate. And so we're trying to teach families the language of support. For City Councilwoman Rita Vogel, it's more than just numbers. My story, uh, my genesis in this is actually personal. Um, my oldest had struggled. We've been public uh, sharing our story. I did not understand the language of support. That's why Vogel is partnering with the Ingham County Counseling Center for a training called QPR. Question, persuade, refer. I spoke with Jennifer Cronkite, who trains community members on QPR. It is awareness of some of the things that we might notice about someone around us who's having a difficult moment or might be in that crisis. Um, and then it's some thoughts about what can we do as those concerned community members to support that person in getting help on an ongoing basis. In Mason, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Hannah McElroy, Fox 47 News.